So I'm also joined in the studio by former Liberal Democrat MP Lembit Opik. Uh, Lembit, thank you very much for coming in. My pleasure. So, so what do you feel then Parliament has? Has it always had these problems? And, and why is it sort of now that they're sort of looking at this situation when if that is the case, they could have done that a lot uh, sooner? I really respect Dennis. He's a friend of mine, but I don't share his view it's for this reason. It's an immensely charged parliamentary environment and it's intense and you want intensely committed people there. With that comes a degree of colour. With that degree comes a degree sometimes of flirtation, which is often, and I would say, usually mutual on both sides. Mm. Between politicians, as we well know, if you read Edwina Curry's uh, biography, uh, and also sometimes between politicians and staff. I would say the overwhelming uh, period of time that I was there, that was all benign. But there are some cases, as in any work environment, where it goes wrong. But I'd ask Dennis, where does he draw the line? If a member of parliament is watching pornography in their state-rented accommodation, should that be banned? If a politician, male or female, asks, say, their member's staff out or somebody else and they get turned down, is that wrong? Are we going to have an androgynous metrosexual environment where it's simply going to put off some of the highest motivated people? And I'll tell you, if we go down this path, there'll be no Winston Churchills, no John F. Kennedys, no Gladstones, no David Lloyd Georges, all of whom, all of whom had a lot of colour in their lives, but I would say all four of whom did a good job.